everyone. Welcome to another episode of Steam's Bargain Bin. Uh, I'm Thousand Daggers, and this is a game called Space Cord. It's on sale on Steam for only a dollar. It's made by Gentlemen in Tuxedos. I think, yeah. Uh, this game was made in 2012. Uh, it's a text-based adventure. Uh, there's not much to it. However... Uh, well, there's not much to it, um, in the way, it's just a text-based adventure, so there's not, you know, that's, that's all it is. There's no sound, um, there's no, uh, there's no graphics of any kind, it's just text, and text-based adventures were highly popular when I was a little kid. I remember seeing text-based adventures in a lot of places, all over, uh, computers and whatnot. Are on on PCs. I remember playing text-based adventures, and um, uh, this one is a little interesting. We'll just uh, we'll just start playing. I did play a little bit of this, uh, just to see if it was working, uh, but not too much. So we'll just go in. Uh, you wake up in a strange pl in oh, uh, you wake up in strange planet. That's the first mistake. Your journey was a success. Your horn is damaged. You encounter yourself surrounded by barbed wire, guarding a house. What will you do? Well, we'll enter, because we don't want to commit suicide. You will later find out that you might have wanted to commit suicide. You have entered a house and feel like eating a space apple. Nah, I better start exploring. I better, I better start exploring. Oh, I, I think I said that wrong. I better start exploring the house. Where should I go? Let's climb the stairs. Oh, that's, 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 I forgot. I, I, I only climbed a stair. I didn't climb all the stairs. Um, you climb the stairs to find, and find an office. What will you do? Well, we'll enter, because that's, that's the only option if we want to progress to the game. What a weird office. There are two pink dildos on the desk. There is a laptop on the floor. You turn it on. The screen is somewhat blurry. It reads something craft. Meh, the game probably sucks. Shitty graphics. You go back. I'm going to take note of the whole fact that this game just said shitty graphics. Because we're going to come back to that. First off, their game has no graphics. Second off, Minecraft which I'm assuming is what they are talking about. Maybe they're talking about all the, like, Minecraft clones that exist. And those games, most of the time, it's not so much that they suck, it's just there's nothing, we've had that. We've had that experience already. This game provides no experience. Um, you climb the stairs and find the office. What we do? Let's go back. Uh, let's go to the left hall. Oh! Oh, that's another thing. I I entered that text twice because. So here's the other thing. I I it's hard to see where I like when I when I enter enter uh, an option, and hit enter. It doesn't really show. Like, give any indication of where to start reading because I get lost. Because the, the text just jumps in, and I have no... There's nothing that's clearing me. Okay, this is the new text. Like, there's nothing. So, anyways. A naked red head is guarding a locked door. Because it's funny. It's funny. Because, hmm, it seems as the carpet does match the drapes. See, I feel like... There was a joke earlier which was like, uh, there are two dildos on the desk. And that's like the start of a joke. And then they never really, there was no punch, there was nothing. There was nothing after that. Um, I mean, you could do something with two pink dildos on a desk. Like, there's actually some, there, there's some comedic value in that. Um, this, it's, not, it's not explored in this game. Uh, however, in this case, they have a naked redhead guarding a locked door. And the, they immediately go to the punchline, which is, it seems as the carpet does match the drapes. Which is something that a uh, freshman in high school would come up with. Uh, let's go to the right hall. As you walk, you see something written on the wall. What do you do? Get closer. 
as you approach the wall, you read, I want to play a game. I like games. Because it's funny, meme. I think that was a meme at one point, like in 2012 when this game was made. A key drops for no reason. What do you do? What to do, what to do. That's what it says. I can read. Put it up your ass. Why? Oh, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it! I guess we'll do the- ignore! I'm not gonna do that. Fuck you, game. Not doing your rules. Go back. Go back. Go away from this thing. We're gonna sit. We're gonna sit here and contemplate all the things that we've seen and go, Why does this game exist? What do you do? I guess we'll watch TV. That's not- there's nothing wrong that- there's nothing that could happen by watching TV. Ooh. A porn flick is on. What will you do? Get your penis out. Uh, to be honest, that's probably what I would do if I saw a porn flick on. Uh, I hate to say this, but it looks like the right hole and sticking that key up my butt is the only thing that's actually going to get us through this. Uh, let's get closer. Put it, put, put it up your ass. Oh my god, you look at the key like you used to look at Unicorn Downey, the sexiest unicorn in your home planet. You've been alone for too long, so you put the key up your ass and a doorway seems to open. Strange, huh? What will you do? I will go inside. Congratulations, you finished the level. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Password. Uh, not gonna bother. The house is through. Okay, continue. Do I have to? My, my, uh, producer's telling me I have to. You enter what appears to be an abandoned mine shaft. Only two possible ways. Which way will you go? Left or right? Well, we'll go left. Seems like a good place to start. You decide to go left. You've reached th the end of, uh, of the path, and uh, you see a door. Observe door. The door reads, you shall not pass. Uh, I'm tired of this shit! Oh, okay. I, I think I'm better now. I just, uh, I just took a bunch of, uh, what do they call it? Uh, drugs. I've been told they're called drugs. I think I can continue on. At the end of the path, you see what have here uh, appears. Okay. Brain, we need to have a discussion. It involves you actually saying words that appear on the screen rather than coming up with what you uh, want to see um, or want to hear. Z, you're doing it again. Brain, I'm serious. Stop it. A shiver goes down your hooves. H hoofs. Hooves? Isn't that? I, I think h hoofs. Okay, um. I, I don't know. I don't know the plural for hoofs. I'm pretty sure it's hooves and not hoofs. But maybe it's hoofs. I might be wrong on that one. As you gaze upon the dead bodies hanging, you see five cells. We'll just investigate one through five. A skeleton with a pointy hat and a big gray beard lays on the ground. Nothing to see here. I guess he couldn't pass. Okay, I apologize for that joke. It was on the same level of the game that I'm playing right now. You can't blame me because this game is just sucking all the funny out of the room. Okay, it's just going away. It's going bye-bye. It's going straight from my computer into the internet, straight to this guy, and he is devouring it and and w with glee. Whoever made this game is survives off of humor. Dead humor. On the floor, you see a decomposing unicorn. Oh, the horror! Nothing to see here. There was clearly something to see. Cell, th cell three. An empty cell, only a bed, a toilet, and a poster for some band called Steel Ladies. Fill it. Um, I don't know what the Steel Ladies reference. I'm guessing that's a reference to something. I don't remember what it is. Go to cell four. 
Hmm, there appears to be a lever on the wall. What ner what it does? Pull it. You hear the s a sound of the door opens. You hear a sound and a door opens. Let's read. You hear you hear a sound and a door opens. You enter the secret entrance and find a horde of bloodthirsty goblins. What will you do? We're going to run cuz that's that's fucking scary. Um you run away. Good choice. Unicorns who choose to fight will die, but not you. Your cowardice. Cowardice? Cowardice? I think it's cowardice, isn't it? Maybe it's just pronounced wrong in uh, culture, but... Uh, saved your life. You find a sewer <laughs> entrance. What do you want to do? Go in? Sure. Oh my, uh, you, what is it? You, you find a nasty and filthy place. Dot, 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 Unbelievably large amount of dots later. Oh my, OMFG. Uh, is that a skeleton having sex with a frickin' mammoth? Maybe blunt force will remove memories from brain. I don't think it's working. Oh, man. I don't even... Uh, I wish I could forget this entire thing. Weird, hmm? Z -z 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 -z. Apparently we slept. You are blocked by a wall. What do you want to do? Break. I want to break. It didn't work. Only one... Use only one verb. So I have to figure out what verb to use. Is there only one verb in the, uh... Hold on. You find a nasty and filthy place. Is there... A, oh, oh. Find. Um, find? Nope. I bet you it wants me to type sex. Let's go to sleep instead. Let's, uh... Let's leave. I want to leave. Quit. I want to quit. Die. I want to die. Suicide? Suicide! Didn't work. Apparently I can't commit. If I wanted to commit suicide, I had to do it at the beginning of the game. Now it's too late. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, fine, sex. It just wants me to type sex, I bet. Oh, look at that! It just wanted me to type sex! <laughs> All right, everyone, 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 I want you to calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I heard this from a friend. This is a really good relaxing technique. Okay, I want you all to just, like, get really quiet and just say the word penis. Did you all start to laugh? No. Why didn't you laugh? Because penis isn't funny, penis is just a sex organ, and sex is just an act of people of people uh, having sex. Why? Why, game? Why? The wall breaks, it reads, Do not leak, Valve is evil. Why? What? Is, is it do not leak, Valve is evil? What? could that mean because our game is now on steam this is no longer our thoughts on this company yay for being company shills what you find yourself in a forest oh we're on level three great just what i wanted more of this game you find yourself in a forest you hear noises what do you do Follow the sound or go the opposite way? Let's go the opposite way. Why? Op Hold on. Opposite way. <sighs> As the path ends, you see a village. It appears to be populated by zombie dinosaurs with butler robots. What do you do? Explore the village? Go back. Well, zombie dinosaurs with butler robots, I don't think so. Let's go back. 
Uh, I guess we'll follow the sounds. It can't possibly be worse than zombie dinosaurs. You're getting closer to the sound. At the end of the path, you see what appears to be a village. It appears to be populated with seals and ch with chainsaws. What do you do? Well, seals with chainsaws, since seals don't have arms, sound significantly better than zombie dinosaurs. So we'll explore this village. As you enter, everyone seems to stop and stare at you. As you get closer, you realize you are in some deep shit, my friend. Uh, we'll, we'll climb a tree, although we're a unicorn. I don't know how we're going to climb a tree. Oh, they have chainsaws as well. Uh, well, we're not going to fight them, that's for sure. You run towards a tree and jump to one of the branches as you feel your hoof against the branch. You see it's fragile and you fall, breaking your neck and dying. Do you want to continue? Oh, God, no. Do you really want to quit? Oh, God, yes. Artwork, characters, story, code, and everything related to Space Corn is made by... Oh, it, it exited. You guys have a blank screen now. Huh. Well, I think that's significantly better than what you had previously, which was looking at text that made no fucking sense. So we will just continue basking in the glory that is a blank screen and enjoying every moment because it is not space corn. And with that, I will end the episode here. So, space corn... It's a dollar on Steam. I still don't think you should get it. I would completely ignore this one. I can't even believe it's on Steam. And apparently at some point it wasn't on Steam and they had problems with that. Apparently and Valve is evil because of that. Now it's not because they're shills, I guess. I don't know. Um, they, they said it, not me. Um, so, I don't know. This is a waste of time. Waste of... Waste of goddamn time. I'll see you next time.